Before the season starts, it's essential to maintain your equipment. Equally important is checking for damage areas caused by the harvester as the crop is lifted. Changing fields, conditions and crops will all impact on how the machine is set up. Here are 10 high-risk areas. The first key point is the topper. There's a few things on the topper that we, we need to check to make sure the flavour profile is correct because uh, row profiles have changed with more modern planters. Topper height to make sure we're not scalping the rows and also make sure that we are doing a, a, an efficient job so there's not too much harm going into the machine and also that the topper is turning at the right speed. The next thing after we've measured the rows we need to make sure that the Diablo rollers are also set to the right widths for the ridges but the most important thing with the Diablo rollers is the pressure on the ridge. Too much pressure and we're going to damage the crop by pushing clods and stones into the crop. Uh, and too little pressure means that we're going to get bulldozing and cause an uneven feed into the machine. Make sure that the share is set at the correct width. Um, there is an alternative uh, for share width for our crops forming rows. Some grow out, some go deeper but it's important to match the share to the, the, to the row profile. A correct set share will uh, allow the crop to flow evenly and uh, unrestricted onto the web. The discs are also important that we're uh, set right for the ridge. If we have it too, set too close, we're going to get cuts. If we have it set too wide, then we're picking up soil out of the wheelings, and necessary soil and clods that we don't need and also if we have them set too deep they can carry the machine which will stop us from getting the correct depth and again cut potatoes in the row. And a good guide is that this one to be approximately 19 mil or three quarters of an inch wider than what the share is. It's important to make sure that the sieving web has no protruding rivets so we can get scuffing on the side belts. It's also very important that uh, we're carrying soil on the web to stop the rollback of the crop and that can be done by adjusting the speed of the web to make sure that we're always carrying soil. If we have too much agitation, we can make the soil go through the web too fast and also expose the potatoes and bounce the potatoes on the web causing bruising. Probably one of the most important points on the machine that uh, the home roller is set in its less aggressive position. It's important to keep the home roller as low as possible and the feed fingers out of the way if possible to reduce the amount of damage and then if we're struggling with home extraction then bring in the home roller a lot higher and the feed fingers down afterwards. There's several different types of cleaning unit but it's important with all cleaning units that we keep an even flow through it and keep the, the, the speeds up so that the flow is going through the machine and we're not getting any nipping within the unit. It is a norm to have the, the crop on the separator for as least of time as possible. It's also quite important that we have a camera system in the machine so the operator can see what the um, separators are actually doing so he can adjust accordingly. It is now uh, good practice to have an uh, active side panel system that uh, will eliminate scuffing on the side panels. It's good practice to have uh, the pockets in the cart elevator running about two thirds full. And then the crop can be distributed into the trailer evenly. So the final part is the machine to trailer transfer. Um, we're either filling uh, bulk trailers or we're filling boxes, depending on uh, the, 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 the farmer. Uh, bulk filling, it's important to drop the cat elevator right into the trailer and it's important to have a good trailer operator so that they're working uh, constantly together as a team and it's also important in bulk trailers is to load in the trailers uh, by layering the bottom from front to back and building up from there. Uh, the other alternative is filling boxes where we would need a box filling chute on the end and the box filling chute needs to be dropped into the boxes and it's important that we get it in the middle of the box and not doing any damage by dropping potatoes on the edge of the box uh, and also when we're transferring from box to box that we're not doing any damage onto the edge of the boxes. If people follow these 10 points then it will eliminate uh, I would say 90% of machine damage 
but I would also instill into people that it is important to check every day the crop for bruising because sometimes whatever's done on the machine, it's not possible to eliminate damage 100%.